Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeball here as always and welcome to the week 9, I think 9, week 9, maybe 9, it might be 9, it might be like something else. Week 9 NPA battle. This week we are going to be fighting none other than the one, the only, Key Darkness Dragon and his team, the Los Angeles Clef Keys. Guys, I am so ready for this battle. Well, I'm not necessarily ready for this battle, but I'm hyped for the battle. I'm probably going to get like 6-0 swept, but let's go ahead. I'm going to pick Music 21, the overrated one. And, uh, yeah, on my team today, I have Starmie, which I changed now as Thunderbolt, Scald, Ice Beam, and Psy Shock, and it has Choice Scarf. I have my Mega Metacham, which is the same. I have Elizabeth, which is the, uh, Life Orb Special Attacking Needle Queen. I have, uh, the Star Raptor Yolo Bird, which hasn't changed. I have, a uh, Seattle, our Superior, which hasn't changed at all, and our Magic Bounce Espeon, which hasn't changed at all. So yeah, I brought multiple Pokemon with Ice Beam because he has Landorus, and I wanted to. S I have two Scarf users, which is kind of not the smartest thing, but Landorus. I I need to get around Landorus because as you guys see, he has Landorus, and that's a scary thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Elizabeth because I can set up Rocks, because uh, it does have Rocks along with three other special attack moves. So like, if he makes like a bad, uh, sp like start bad, a bad, yeah, and stuff, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking English. Um, so yeah, basically if he starts off with like something bad and he wants to switch out, I can just set up uh, the rocks, is what I was trying to say. So let's get into this battle. Ooh, God, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm so excited. What's he gonna start? What's he gonna start with? He's gonna start off. Okay, we got Elizabeth. Elizabeth up in this bitch. He's gonna send out Klefki. Alright, so actually, it's funny. Because Klefki, I was like thinking about this. I'm like, how do we stop Klefki? And then it was obvious to me. We bring uh, Espeon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully he doesn't go to like set up screens, because that would not be too good for me to be honest. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. He's gonna set up screens. Nice. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I didn't want. Uh, reflect. That's bad because I could have hit him with the Earth Power or whatever. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna set up light screen myself. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, cause he probably can't touch me. After, like, what does he have? Like, Thunder Wave, maybe? And, like, Foul Play? I mean, he probably doesn't have Foul Play. Maybe, like, Dazzling Gleam. I don't think he can touch us very well, so setting up our own screens isn't a bad thing to do right here. Um, also, we're protected from anything that he can do, so he's gonna probably most likely switch out. So I'll go ahead and I just use Light Screen, so we'll use Reflect this turn. Uh, so now our defense and everything is raised pretty well, and uh, we're, in, we're looking in a not too bad position right now. He's gonna use Foul Play. I don't think it's gonna do too much at all. Uh, especially behind the screen. Yeah, it's gonna do nothing. That's pretty good. So, um, let's just use Psychic, I guess. I mean, because there's a chance that he might pull some switch because he's obviously not doing much right now and he can't do much. Uh, we could go for the Dazzling Gleam, but that's also kind of risky. Uh, we'll go for the Psychic this turn and see what he does, and uh, depending on that, we'll, like, switch out next turn. Alright, it's not gonna do. It's not gonna do anything, yeah. Alright, so, that was just, like, a little test, I guess. Foul play again isn't going to do much, uh, so what we can do right here is switch into a Pokemon. Now, what Pokemon we're going to want to switch into, that's the question. How about, ooh, mm, choices, choices. Shit, I don't want to switch into anything. Fuck. Um, let's switch into Elizabeth. Elizabeth is looking not too bad here. Now, it's probably going to for the foul play, it probably won't do too much. So, like, I'm just thinking here, guys, this is just me. Like, double switch back into, a uh, back. Okay, he's probably going to set up his Reflect here, to be honest. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set up Rocks. See how that helps us. Yeah, he's going to use Reflect. So, now he's, like, little light screen. No, wait. He's just going to set up light screen next turn, isn't he? But we'll set up Rocks, so that's actually a good thing. Um. Yeah, okay. So, his light screen wore off, so he's going to not eat this Earth Power too well. So he's either going to set up spikes or eat this earth, or like, uh, reflect and try to eat the earth power. Let's see what he does. Uh, I'm hoping he, he's going to withdraw. Okay. Lando. Reuniclus. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, he's earth power. Yeah, he's not going to take any rock damage. Uh, but that's going to do over half. Oh, he's going to try and like psycho shift us, but we're, we're special, so we're good. Um, no problem not using, but no reason not to use earth power again. That should take him out. And that's going to be his Reuniclus, Reuniclus gone. Not the biggest threat on this team, but it's good to have it gone. Um, so yeah, that's definitely good. What's he going to send on next? Next he's going to send on a Blonde. That's not too good, actually. But, uh, 
We can either kind of sack off our thingamajingy here. Because, like, I have Thunderbolt, and that will, like, maybe he's predicting a switch and we'll go for a rapid spin. Let's try that. Let's test our luck with Thunderbolt. We don't really need Nido Queen too much now. Um, plus, if we get him into, like, low enough damage, we can go into our, uh, our own. It sucks killing my mascot, by the way. Like, I don't want to do this. Um, but it's also his mascot, so we're good. Um, we can go into our superior and kind of start a sweep there. And, oh, my God. Yes, he went for the rapid spin. God, that is good. Ah. Oh. I'm on. I'm honestly gonna, guys. Fuck it. I'm ice beaming. He's gonna switch in. Okay, ice beam should kill, right? It's not gonna not kill, right? God, if what if ice beam doesn't kill? I th I'm thinking he might go into Lando. Fuck it. I'm using ice beam. God, no shit. I swear to God. Yes. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. That was risky, but it could have been very worth it. There's his mega gone, just like that. Our reflex gone. He, he clearly didn't have light clay because ours lasted for a bit longer. Uh, which means we still have light screen for another turn, which is definitely a good thing. So he's going to send out Japanese letters, which is going to be his Keldeo. That's scary. Um, he's probably going to use a water attack on us. So what do I want to do here? I'm thinking of switching into not Rick. Um, eating up the water attack, maybe taking the burn, not the biggest deal. Um, and then after that, we can go ahead and use Psy uh, Shock and get some good damage off on him. We are Choice Scarf, so we should outspeed. I don't know Keldeo's base speed, but I, I feel like we should be faster. Skull isn't going to do too much. Oh, okay. Skull's going to do a bit. Skull's going to get the burn. We definitely need to save Not Rick for the, uh, for that one Pokemon with the, with the stuff, you know? So Psyshark should do the most here. Uh, I'm talking about Landorus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of tired right now. Didn't have the greatest day. Uh, but, you know, I'm still doing this here for you guys. Uh. It is, we're battling very early, it's Tuesday, I believe. So he's gonna go into his Klefki, that's not good for us. Uh, because this probably gives him, like, a free turn to, like, set up shit. Uh, Psyshock isn't gonna do much at all. No. Um, we're gonna take the burn damage, which isn't very good. We definitely need to save Not Rick for later. Uh, he's mostly gonna set up screens here, so we'll go ahead and go back into Booty and see what he does. Uh, he might use Foul Play, just straight up use Foul Play. I don't think that would even kill, because we're burned, so our attack is even lower than it already is. But I don't really know much about Foul Play. I could be completely wrong. Sorry if I am. So Espeon's now here. He's going to use the Reflect. That's cool. Uh, I guess I'm going to set up my screens, goddammit. I'm going to start off with setting up the Reflect, since he's a physical attacker. And uh, ours is, again, going to last long, because we have the Light Clay. Um, you can tell because his was running out a bit faster. But we're going to eat up this foul play pretty good, I hope. Yeah, not too bad at all. And then we'll go ahead and just straight up use... Uh... Yeah, we're going to straight up light screen. Why not? He's gonna. We're going to both set up. We're going to trade light screens here. Uh, that's fine by me. Real, I'm really happy that we got rid of his, uh, his Mega really quickly. Like, that was pretty smart on our part. Especially the... Uh, the second Thunderbolt. I'm proud of that. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to switch back into Elizabeth, knowing that I could eat up that foul play. Um, I'm just going to go for an Earth Power again. Or I could go for Ice Beam. Fairy Lock. What's that going to... That's going to... Okay, so now we can't... Like, that's fine. That doesn't do anything. Oh, we're not able to run away. I'm fine with that. Uh, if he has Thunder Wave, he can't touch us. So now we know three of his... No, we, all know, we know all four of his moves. We're good. That was a good switch on our point. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ice Beam here, see if we can predict the switch. He's most likely going to switch into something. Uh, he's not. We're going to use Ice Beam. It's going to do uh, not too much damage. Yeah. And he's going to do what? Foul Play. Yeah, I ain't going to do shit. Uh, but, you know, that Landers is a huge threat to us, so it's it's okay. Um, his Reflect is now gone. That doesn't affect us too much at the moment. I kind of almost want to... We'll just use Earth Power. He switches, I'm gonna cry. Maybe he thinks we're choiced into Ice Beam. I don't think he does. Oh, god damn it. Why didn't I use Ice Beam? And, okay, Mandibuzz. Yeah, I should have used Ice Beam. Uh, I don't think this Mandibuzz can touch us too much. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna affect. But again, we have Ice Beam, which should be doing good damage, and we could possibly get a freeze. He might knock us off. He might foul play. Uh, but overall, this Mandibuzz can't really do too much to us, so I'm not too afraid of it. The Ice Beam's gonna do almost nothing. Um... He's going to Toxic, but luckily we didn't switch, so it's not going to affect us. So what we can do this turn is just stay in and honestly, uh... Alright, his Light Screen's gone. Actually, that's going to help a lot. This should do good, a good amount of more damage, hopefully. Right? He could knock off, which would honestly suck. He's going to switch out, and what's he going to go to? The Klefki? No, what is this? Keldeo. Okay. 
Um, if only I went for Thunderbolt, that would have been smart. Now, now that we have the Reflect up, I might be able to eat another hit, so I'll go ahead and use Thunderbolt right here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that, see what that takes us. He's gonna use Icy Wind. That's probably gonna hurt, and it's gonna lower our speed, unfortunately, but I definitely don't know, uh, yeah, that's not gonna kill. I don't know why I didn't go for the Skull there, which I think is kind of weird, but Thunderbolt's gonna hit for super effective damage, and it might end up taking him out. Yeah, nice. That's another huge threat down already. That's really good. No, okay, I reflect. That actually would have helped. Well, I honestly wish we had it. Um, but we're looking in a good position, especially with our Starmie still alive, to handle our Starmie and our Star Raptor, which are both going to be able to outspeed his Landorus, I believe. Okay, now the Clef Key's here. I mean, I'm just going to Earth Power. No point in not. It should do very good damage, I believe. Because he has a light screen. Alright, that's smart, that's smart. He's most likely going to live, uh, but he's not really going to be able to do much. He's not going to be able to take us out, and he might end up losing his Clef Key here. For good. Yeah, next turn. He's not going to be able to do anything. Like, what's he going to do? Our, our light screen is gone, which sucks. Um, but again, we're, this Clef Key is either gone or he's... Okay, he's going to Fairy Lock us. I'm not worried about that. Because um, he might... What's he going to do? Go into Landorus? I wasn't going to switch anyways. I would rather sack uh, than risk any other Pokemon. Because now we're at the point where um, even Superior could do good damage against him. Because we could... We have Focus Sash. Uh, and he doesn't have like rocks or anything up. So what we could do is we could eat up the first hit. Go for the Leaf Storm. That should do massive damage. Um, that's my thought process right now. That's what I'm thinking. If he goes into Landris, uh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're probably gonna lose Needle Queen here. Uh, the Intimidate, that's not gonna do much. Um, but that Club Cleave was annoying. I'm glad that, uh, his mascot's dead. So what's he going to do? He's gonna use Earthquake. Alright, that's gonna take us out. I'm fine with that, though. Definitely a good trade on my part. Uh, hopefully, I don't think you guys will see this if I open up Google. But I wanna check... Starmie speed. Landorus is, I believe, 91 base speed. Well, Starmie is gonna be. Come on, computer, are loud. I understand you're recording, but load. Starmie, according to Smogun, is exactly 115. Oh god, we're good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you guys saw that. So we can go to Starmie real quick, and uh, since we're Scarf, we're definitely gonna hit the outspeed here. I'm gonna be able to hit either in like a really powerful ice beam, or he's gonna. We have natural cure! Yo, we lost our burn. I didn't even think about it. We need ice cream here. That's so... As long as we preserve... Uh, okay, he's going to withdraw. So as long as we preserve this Starmie, we should have the win. I don't think his... Yeah, his mana buns is going to take pretty pretty bad damage here, I'd assume. Come on, do... do uh, <laughs> that doesn't put us in a very good position. Again, we have to keep this thing alive and well. <laughs> Mandibuzz is quite the annoyance, isn't it? Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch into Booty and kind of sack it. Cause Booty, oh, Booty could hit with a super effective move. No, uh, but Booty's not gonna do much overall. Draw so switch into Booty. Bring that ass here, though. So now he can't Toxic. He's gonna foul play. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're done. That's fine by me. Uh. Oh god, I dropped my thingy. God, this is honestly, we're still not in the greatest position. Uh, but something I want to do here is I think we could probably live a Brave Bird from this thing, correct? Like, am I am I correct? So we're going to we're going to Mr. Miyagi right here, and uh, what we're going to do is high jump kick. Maybe no. What we we'll do is thunder punch. No, we're gonna we're gonna high jump kick. No, we're gonna Thunder Punch. Oh god, I don't know. Let's Thunder Punch, let's be safe. God, I don't even know anymore. Okay, Medicham. You got that strong ass attack. I, I wanna see it work. I wanna see it work. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Alright, alright. Thunder Punch is gonna go off. How much is it gonna do, though? Ooh, great damage. Oh god. Foul play, it's gonna do a lot, but I know it's not gonna kill. Yeah. We should be safe. We should have the kill right here. Be able to take out the Mandibuzz. Then we'll be able to bullet punch the Landers. Definitely putting in range of the Ice Beam killing if it wasn't going to kill before, which I assumed it would. That that should be game right there. We should have it on lockdown now. Having Fake Out 
would be better, but I like to run Thunder Punch, guys. Thunder Punch is pretty good and unexpected. Ice Punch is better in every single way, but people just don't expect Thunder Punch, because, like, Gyarados is a thing, you know? Um, even though this isn't necessarily for that shit. Uh, the Intimidate's, well, not the greatest thing ever, but either way, uh, it should be on lockdown now. I don't know what he's going to lock himself into, but we can just Bullet Punch here and get off some free damage. But yeah, we should have this battle on lockdown if I didn't fuck anything in. So I, don't, I definitely don't plan on doing it. That's going to be free damage. Uh, Earthquake is going to take us out for sure. Unfortunately, Mr. Miyagi didn't do as much as he... Oh, yeah. He? He? Is it a he? I don't remember. Is my match a boy or a girl? Well, Mr. Miyagi didn't do as much as he or she usually does. But it's okay because it set us up perfectly for the win with Not Rick. And by the way, guys, if you get Not Rick the nickname, I, I love you. I love you. But yeah, Not Rick should be able to seal it up here with the Ice Beam. We are Choice Scarf, we are Max Speed, and uh, yeah, that should be game. Even if it isn't, we have... No, that's game. Alright, yeah, there we go. I was going to say we have uh, our Choice Scarf, the Yellow Bird in the back. Excuse me. In the back, which also outspeeds by 9 points uh, in base speed, and I'm Max Speed on it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Remember to sub to Key and follow him on Twitch. He uh, recently got a sub button not too long ago, so, you know, definitely go and give him the sub. I know I'm a sub to him. Uh, Key Darkness Love is a great, great emote. I believe that's what it is. Um... But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out Key's shit below. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like. And that's going to be the battle. Peace the fuck out, guys. And see ya!